Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in PHP using PDO data objects how to bind data into drop down control. I'm using remote database of PHP my admin, which is my SQL server. I'm using Notepad plus plus for this example. Right now, in this Notepad plus plus contains a simple HTML code which contains h1 and h2 header tags with some HTML element. Select an option. Let's save this file. We'll check the output on the browser how it looks at designing part. And this is the output of that HTML code. Uh, right now in this drop down control which contains null values. Now my aim is to fetch records from a table of the country column name into this drop down control. Before writing the PHP code, let's log into my remote database PHP my admin. We'll check the table and the column names. I'm just logged into my Bluehost PHP my admin. I'm expanding the user database. I'm expanding the WPCHADVF underscore Charon user database. For this example, I'm using contents table. Let's view the contents. Right now in this contents table, which contains four columns. One is the ID, country, state, and capital. And the ID column is the auto generated column. I want to fetch the country column name into the drop down list. Let's switch back to the coding part. We'll write the code in PHP using PDO data objects. I'm back to the coding part. Let's write the PHP code. PHP. I'm closing the PHP tag. I'm creating the variables host name which is local host dollar db which is a database name my user database name is wpchadvf underscore charan dollar username the here username I'm giving the username and the password is the password. Just for the security reasons, the username and password I have given the fake one. But at the time of uploading this file into my remote server, I will change this username and password into real credentials. Dollar con is equals to new pdo object which takes the, the first parameter we have to write the data source which is my sql small letters colon host is equals to dollar this one host name semicolon db name is equals to dollar this variable comma dollar username comma dollar password after adding the connection string I'm writing the SQL query SQL is equals to select from the table name is the countries here the column name I'm giving the country try dollar stmt is equals to dollar count prepare method which takes a parameter is SQL query dollar st empty execute method dollar results is equals to dollar st empty fetch all method f e t c h all method If fail to fetch the country details, I want to catch the exception. 
so I'm using catch exception ex which is dollar echo dollar ex get message method we have just finished the php call now we need to bind the data into this select element in this option i'm creating php for each loop dollar results as dollar output option i'm closing the option php echo dollar output between square brackets i'm adding the column name country here semicolon after that we need to close the curly bracket also that's it let's save the file i'm uploading the file into my remote database yes now it's time to check the final output on the browser before reloading the browser we check the drop down table it contains null values i'm refreshing the browser So here we got the column of the country. That's it. If you like this video, please leave your valuable comment, share this video and please subscribe my channel. Catch you on my upcoming videos.